Today I'm going to demonstrate the chain stitch. I'm using a Steph Francis Pearl Cotton number eight on a 24 chenille needle. When you have a eight weight thread and you're doing a non-wrap stitch, use a chenille needle. So this is a 24 chenille, eight weight pearl cotton. You come out with your thread and then you're gonna go right back in to where that thread emerged and you're gonna come a little way away and you're gonna make sure that the thread is looping behind the needle and you're going to pull that through. Now, depending on how much you pull, it's also going to change the shape of the chain. So if you leave it a little relaxed, it'll be a different shape than if you pull it very tightly where it's going to be a more elongated and less fat. I kind of like them a little fatter personally. So I can just pull this a little bit to allow for that. And I'm gonna come back down right where I came out, which is inside that loop. And I'm gonna go forward and pull it through. If you're right-handed, it's exactly the same. You're gonna go down into your, where your thread emerged. And you're gonna come out a little ways. You're gonna make sure that that thread is looped around your needle and you're gonna pull it through. That is a basic chain stitch. When you end, you simply go down with your thread. The back, you can tie a little knot in the back. If you're working on a single layer, as I am here, you can literally run your thread through a couple of these, pull it through, and clip the remaining thread off. If you're in my Facebook group, Ariane Zerger Stitching Circle, this week's prompt is to use the chain stitch in a different way. And what I mean by that is use the chain stitch either in combination with some other stitch or using it with different threads, or maybe you're gonna double it, double the threads, you have two threads, but do it in a way that's different than just this, whatever way that might be. That's your challenge for this week. If you're not a member of the Stitching Circle, I'm going to put the link for it below and you can click on that. There are two questions you have to answer, how you found out about it and if you hand stitch. Answer those two questions and you'll be automatically let in. I hope you enjoyed this video on the chain stitch and until next time, let's keep stitching together.